unfortunately, breast uh, cancer uh, creates a lot of fear in most women. They have heard anecdotes about uh, patients who have died of breast cancer or who have had a difficult time in treatment. Um, however, in reality, most women do very well getting through their treatment of breast cancer and they live long, productive lives afterwards. So in my uh, discussions with patients who are newly diagnosed with breast cancer, I attempt to put that fear in perspective and assure them that most women with early stage breast cancer, uh, up to 98% of them, if diagnosed early enough, will live long, productive lives. And it's uh, that kind of information that helps ease their minds and get them on the road to recovery. One of the first things uh, she should do is try to put the fear in perspective and um, know that there are excellent treatments for breast cancer and that's what our focus will be, to help her get back to her normal pre-cancer life uh, as soon as possible. Some of the things she can do to help herself is educate herself on uh, um, all the various treatment options that we have for breast cancer. We talk about them in detail at the time of diagnosis, but some of the things are knowing that uh, you don't necessarily have to lose your breast if you are diagnosed with breast cancer. We have excellent options for breast conservation and uh, minimally invasive treatment that will not um, disfigure you and cause you a lot of uh, emotional uh, distress as well. The number one risk factor for developing breast cancer is the female gender. So we can't help that. Some of the other risk factors for breast cancer is heredity. Um, what are genes? Uh, and that, you know, we can't uh, disown that either. There are, however, things that women can do to help themselves. One of them is to have a healthy body weight. Women who are obese in their postmenopausal years have a higher risk of developing breast cancer. After menopause, women's primary source of estrogen is the estrogen that's produced in the fatty cells in the body. And the higher the fat content in the body, the higher the estrogen content will be. And estrogen is a natural hormone that has a role in development of breast cancer. Um, consuming alcohol is also been proven to um, increase the risk of breast cancer. Uh, so a healthy lifestyle, a healthy weight, diet, exercise, avoiding alcohol, um, and I always get smoking in there uh, because if it doesn't necessarily increase your risk of breast cancer, it'll increase the risk of something else that's just not, that's not um, good either. So um, doing all these lifestyle um, modifications are helpful. However, our number one tool against um, breast cancer is early detection. And that is done by getting regular yearly mammograms starting at age 40 uh, and having a clinical breast exam performed um, on you once a year. This is a breast exam that's performed by a physician or a nurse practitioner or a physician's assistant. Studies show that lumps that women, suspicious lumps that women themselves find, are more likely to be cancer than a lump that's detected by their primary care physician. Women know their own breasts, and they know that something might have been there for 15 years, and that's not cancer. But if a new lump that has come on over the last few months, it needs to be checked out. It really affects a family. It affects the woman. It affects her um, husband or partner. It affects their children. It, women have a feeling that, oh, now that I have breast cancer, I might pass it on to my daughters or my future um, offsprings. So it comes with a lot of emotional baggage. But at the same time, I feel that um, I can be with the patient while they go through this process. 
and help them through it and put it all in perspective. Most of our, I'm you know, ecstatic to say that most of our patients do very well. And one of my favorite visits is when my breast cancer patients come back for their yearly uh, visits. And it's like seeing old friends. And I tell uh, patients who are just being diagnosed that they will be amazed at how strong they are in a year. They kind of laugh and say, oh, I don't know. I don't think I can do this. But they all do it. In, in a year, they come back, they're stronger. Many of them have told me, I wish I could be this person without the breast cancer, but you know, I'll, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Suzanne Bays. Uh, I'm the medical director of the Covenant Breast Health Program, and uh, I'm a board-certified general surgeon who specializes in taking care of uh, breast disease.